We'll be looking at the message today, the miracle mouth, but we'll be focusing on positive confession. The miracle mouth in bracket, positive confession. In life, it is only what you confess positively that you will possess. Worlds create your destiny. It is through your words that you give your life a future. The words you speak is a compass of your destiny. Your words decide how far you go. What you are experiencing today is a function of what you said yesterday. And what you will experience tomorrow will determine by what you say today. You say the wrong things, you will experience the wrong things. If you say the right things, you will experience the right things. In the miracle of creation in Genesis chapter 1, the Almighty God did something. There was darkness, but he did not say, look at darkness. He spoke what he wanted. In Genesis chapter 1, 1 to 3, the Bible said, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness upon the face of the deep. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. God said, I want light in respect of darkness. Darkness was there, notwithstanding, he said, I don't bother about darkness, what I want is light. So you don't speak what is happening, you speak what you want. What was happening was darkness. Stop speaking your experiences. Start speaking your expectations. There was darkness. God did not say, look at darkness. Look at darkness. Why are you talking about problems every day? God knew there was darkness. He didn't say, look at darkness. He said, let there be light. In fact, God did not mention anything about darkness. The more you talk about your problems, you magnify them. The more you talk about troubles, you give them. You boost those troubles. God never said, look at the darkness, look at darkness. No. Why are you always talking about the things you're passing through? God said in verse 3, in verse 6, God said. Verse 9, God said. Verse 11, God said. Verse 14, God said. Verse 20, God said. Verse 24, God said. Verse 26, God said. Look at verse 31. Shall we look at verse 31? Of, and God saw. He was saying, 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 he saw. What you don't say, you can never see. It is what you declare today, you will become tomorrow. Anything you are afraid to declare, you will never live to see it. God Almighty had to say before he saw. May you see all you declare beginning from now. Amen. Let your amen be strong. Amen. You know why words are powerful? Any word of God you don't give a voice to cannot be accomplished. Most, most times people cannot experience miracles because they know the word but they have not given voice to the word. Let me show you something in the book of Isaiah 55, verse 11, a known scripture. But that scripture has deep revelation. The Bible says, so shall my word. Let me read from verse 10 for better understanding of people who don't know the scripture. For the, as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and it turneth not thither, but water the earth and make it bring forth and pour, that it may give seed to the soul and bread to the eater. But look at verse 11, the key verse. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Please listen. God's word has gone out of where? Now it is in written form. God is no longer speaking. He has spoken. Before now, there was no Bible. But God's word has gone forth where? Now we have the Bible. As God fall out of my mouth, 
It shall not return unto me void. It took me years to understand the scripture. Before, I was thinking that God, as far as he has spoken it, that settles it. That was how I understood it. So I had no part to play. No, that's not true. A miracle is simply something that you provoke with your faith. Miracles are the acts of God provoked by the faith of man. That means if miracles are provoked, then my man cannot produce miracles if I don't, have, if I don't do my own path. But look at that scripture. I come back again. But it shall accomplish, take note, that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I send it. I never understood that scripture until I understood that God will not speak. He has spoken. It's not going to speak anymore. God has spoken from Genesis to Revelation. Now, that word shall not return void. I am the one who will not take the word of God and speak it. When I speak it, it must accomplish the purpose to which I send the word forth. Because at that point, he will put a stamp on it because it is his word. It cannot return void. It must accomplish the purpose to which I speak the word for. Now, let me come again. Simple illustration. For instance, he said, by his stripes, I am healed. That is the word of God he has spoken. I take the word and I say, now by his stripes, I'm healed. I know I'm healed by his stripes. That word I've sent forth must heal my body because he cannot return void. It's not God now who say by his stripes. I am the one who now say that by his stripes I am healed. And because he has sent for that word, and I'm speaking the word of God, I'm saying what he has said, he is now committed to say, now you are healed. And it's not God who now say by his stripes. I am the one that will say now by his stripes. I am giving voice to his word. That is said, the word has gone on my mouth shall not return unto me void. The returning is not to be done by God. The returning is to be done by you and I. He has sent forth his word. But for that word to return, he's not the one to return. Man, he's the one to return back the word to him. You understand what I'm saying? What you don't confess, forget it. You will never see life. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3, the Bible declares, it says, through faith, we understand that the world is plural. We are framed by the word of God. So that things which are seen, we are not made of things which appear. Everything we are seen in the world today was created through spoken words. Is that true? Let there be, and there was, let there be this, and there was. So you feel we say, now this will happen, and it will happen. If you don't say it, you can't see it. Life and death are the power of the tongue. It is what you say today, you will see tomorrow. <laughs> Words are the most powerful forces on earth. They have power to create. They have power to what? As there can never be a creative miracle that has not been spoken. Do you know no matter you give, if you don't speak, you will never be prosperous. Give all the seed and don't declare I'm rich. You remain poor. Give every, every seed you know and don't say with your mouth I'm rich. You will never be rich. Your prosperity is in your mouth. Your success is in your mouth. Let this, the book of knowledge not depart out of your mouth. You shall make your way prosperous when the book does not depart. Anything that is too big for your mouth to declare, it will be too big for your hand to handle. Your hands will never handle what your mouth have not declared. Until you say, I'm carrying my children, no way. Until you say, it's my time to get married, no way. Say it no matter what is contradicting the circumstance. There was darkness. There was what? God did not bother about the darkness and let there be light. What I want is light. Darkness nonsense. You want to see a good future? Don't mind the economy. Speak it to existence. Jesus said, destroy this temple. In three days I will raise it up. Did he say so? He was not bothered about death. He was speaking his resurrection. 
If Jesus never said it, he wouldn't have risen from the dead. You want to marry? Hmm? <laughs> What's up? When Bible school, and I come out from the class, say, I'm going to start ministry in millions. And I was saying it in faith. I said, I will start ministry in million. I said, I won't start as a thousand, with thousand. I'll start ministry in million. I was saying it when there was no 500 naira savings. I kept saying it as a ministry, I'll start in million. I kept saying it in faith. And to tell you how words are powerful. When it was time to start, it was only one million to make sure it does not fail. Last year, I said we have multiple marriages, multiple marriages, multiple marriages. There was no sign of any multiple marriage. But to, to prove how powerful was are, by December, we had multiple marriages. First marriage, nine, um, nine o'clock. Second marriage, I think, 11, is it? First marriage was when? Eight o'clock or second marriage, 9.30. Just to make sure that word does not fail. I said, this year will not end. We'll have multiple. Even me was shocked when they came to me and said, nobody's too much for one marriage. That there will be no way we can do one, one service for wedding. We have to break them into a love. And God said, you said it. Brother, you want to see something tomorrow? Say it now. Anything too heavy for your mouth to declare, your hand will see carry it. And if you are too gentle to declare it, you will end up a public failure. You know, if I say, what if it don't happen? Is it your business? <laughs> say first now. <laughs> you have not said it. <laughs> say first. Tell us what say first. <laughs> say <I> here. <laughs> when it comes to positive declaration, hear this. It's not something you wait for things to happen first. It's something you speak for things to happen. Many want the thing to happen before they say. God did not see life before he let there be life. He spoke it into existence. You don't say, oh, when I have money, then I say, I'm rich. For now, let me not talk. Now, listen to that story. One day, somebody close to me came to me and said, Papa, don't talk that you are rich. You know, people that way, you know, uh, criminals will... <laughs> he says, I think it's not too good. He was talking to me based on his human understanding. He doesn't say you are very rich. See, that thing is not too good, though. It looked logical. It looked what? It looked logical. He said, don't say you are rich. Just... I think you just keep quiet. As he finished advising me, I came up and they said, do you what? I'm one of the wealthiest preachers on earth. <laughs> the man was tired. <laughs> now he understand me. He said, okay, I can understand why you talk like that. There was no way, I tried to explain to him, he could not understand, I said, leave this man. There's no way. I, as I came back, I said, now, you know what? I'm one of the wealthiest preachers. I've been saying that when I had no money. Now that the money is coming, I'll say more to get more. That is the principle of God to make a principle, to deal with principalities. Every closed mouth will close your destiny. You can never have a miracle without an open mouth. It's open your mouth. Why? And I'll feel it. If you close your mouth, your destiny will remain closed. Poverty is a question of poor mouth. Most people are in poverty because of what they have been saying yesterday. Do you know Every form of hardship is negative confession. Some of us are praying very hard. After prayers, he says, look, oh, the problem is getting bigger. <laughs> he had just free prayed, you know. He said, that problem is getting, and the problem began to increase. You shall have whatsoever, he said. I told myself, you know where I'm going? I told myself, I said, wherever the rich live, that's where I will live. That was that one. I said, anywhere we will live in any city, that's where we live. No money that time. Of. I said, any city I, I enter. Not that I had money. I, I said, me, as born again, I will never live in Pajosin again. No. I said, wherever who is who lives in the city, any nation I go to, that's where I live. As I was saying it, am I not seeing it? Yes. Boy, don't wait till that time. Say it now. You create your miracle of tomorrow with your mouth today. He said, when I carry my children, that's when I declare, it's a lie. I'm going to marry a fine, handsome young man. <laughs> and my husband will be very rich. Boy, I'm going to learn to... I used to say I would help people. Are you hearing testimonies now? The man who they said I gave motto, I've never met the young man. Never. This young man who came now to this, I've never met him. 
They just told me what he's going through. Is a member. I said, get him a car to drive. There's no point him begging about. He's only testifying. I've never seen him. This is the first day I've seen him hearing the story like this. I've never met him. But I was declaring it long ago that I'll go to help people when I had no shish in my pocket. Why are you waiting to get before you say? You know, you know if I talk like that, what of what? Of what? <laughs> That's why you should say it. Are you hearing me? Yes, Look at yourselves. I'm rich. I'm, rich. I'm super prosperous. I'm, super I'm, prosperous. Successful. I'm successful. Look at your life. Say one thing. It is well with me. <laughs> Look at your life and say something good. It is well with me. I will lend to nations. Never borrow. In the name of Jesus. What you have said will happen in Jesus' name. The almighty God, the almighty God could have seen if he didn't say. And he said, be imitators of God. Ephesians 5.1 do you want to imitate him? Yeah. Then do like God. Do like who? Do like God. And you know why? Words are the most powerful forces on the earth. They create. They do what? They amplify this one that says imitators. Ephesians 1, 5, 5, 1. It said, therefore, be what? You no, know, God. Copy him and follow his... What did God do? Let the... And God said. And God said. And God said, so God said, copy is part of you to say it. You do what? God said, God said, our problem is this, we talk problem, we don't talk our expectation. You know what? Things are tough. You know what? I'll be out of debt. That's what you're expecting. So don't talk about the debt. Talk about how you'll be out. You know what? Very, in fact, before the year ends, all the debt will be wiped off. Keep saying it. Keep what? Keep saying it. I will not owe one dime after this year. Borrowing has ended my life. I want to start giving to people. I don't want to be borrowing again. Ask just, look, if I'm talking now, people will, will say, okay, God has blessed. When there was no shish, when things didn't look it, I had only one suit and I said, watch it, I'm going to give suits to people. Watch it, I'm going to give millions to people. One day I came up and said, I just feel like giving a million dollar offering in one service. And as I said it, it happened. Boy, the reason why some things have not happened in your life is because your mouth has been too closed. Open your mouth. Wide. Open it wide. Wide. In Mark 11, 23. And Matthew 12, 27. Look at what it says. Mark Matthew 12, 37, and Mark 11, 23. Let me say the truth. Look at what it says. Matthew 12, 37. It says, For by thy words you shall be what? The unacquitted. And by your words you will be condemned and sentenced. Amplified. King James said, By your words you shall be justified. By your words you shall be condemned. So the thing that will put you to trouble, where will you come from? Did that free you? Where will you come from? All the troubles you're passing through is not the devil. Do you know the devil can attack you until you say it? He uses your words to attack you. So if you close your mouth and you don't say nonsense words, Satan has nothing to attack you with. <laughs> to how powerful words are. If Jesus never said to the hand that commit my spirit, his spirit would have gone. That is even for him to die, he has to declare it. He said, now into the hands. If Jesus just kept quiet on the cross, his spirit would still be alive. But he knew the principle that everything would be by the mouth. So he said, to the hand, I now commit my spirit. His spirit left. It means that death can't kill you until your mouth says it. If Jesus kept quiet on the cross, dead would have been hanging. The spirit would have been there. And body would have been alive. But now he knew that the principle of life and death is about to talk. So for him to give up, he had to declare it. He said, now into thy hand I commit. Paul could not be killed until he said, now I have finished my curse. That was how he died. Anything the man does not say, it's impossible for the devil to use against you. 
Paul said, I want to die. Therefore, I have finished my course. God said, now nah, at this point, you can come. Some of you finish your garden with your mouth. <laughs> you know, my husband, garden has finished. <laughs> Soup has finished. There is one language you must remove from your vocabulary. Finish. Soap has finished in this house. And all of a sudden, you find that you are finding it difficult to buy soap. Nothing finished. It's a law in our office, though. Everybody walks with me, no, you don't say there's no money. He said, Lord, you don't say it. He <laughs> said that they will sack you. <laughs> you will just find your way straight, straight to the gate and resign and go. Don't say it. There is always money. Because nothing finishes until your mouth finishes it. You can't say, walking with me, say there's no money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No money. There's money. It's not in your pocket. It doesn't mean it's not there. <laughs> Say, I hear. Verily, I son to you that whosoever shall son to this mountain, whosoever shall son to this one, be that removed and be that can see, and shall not doubt. Don't have fear in your heart when you're speaking. One thing you must overcome is fear when you're speaking. You know why God is not the man that you should lie? So don't ever entertain fear. When he says something in line with God's word, believe that God who spoke is equal to it. Shall not doubt your heart, and shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have anything. God is uh, God. Don't be. Don't bother. When Jesus said, cast your net, the fish is obeyed. They swam from everywhere to come to Peter's net. The same water. Just give the order. That's what you know God can create. Just say it in faith. You see it happen without your understanding. And as you say now, something will happen. Even man, God said, let us. That was where creation started. And God said, let us make man. God said, God said, God said, God said, and God saw. You two say to see. So I hear. Mm. I gave a story of a young man who was talking negative, 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 negative. Everything was talking was, that's as people are. Everything they talk is negative. In our church, they say we should not talk like that. But come. I can confide in you. You, I can confide in you. This country is hard, though. Tough. Nothing is working. Nothing is working. God says nothing is working, yeah? And favor is just by the corner. He wants to give you favor. Just your mouth till nothing is working. It stops. They say we be not able. God says stay here. Stay here. Stay here. You be not able. No Canaan. God answers all those who are secret, secret talks you have been talking. Negative talks. No good man is coming, himself. Yeah, 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 yeah boys. <laughs> God said, <laughs> yeah, 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 boys. <laughs> I will, I will, boys. <laughs> One day, I asked my what is that wrong? <laughs> he said, don't mind this. I'm wrong, boys. <laughs> if, if they play football, football and football, they didn't play well. He said, don't mind this. I'm wrong, boys. I said, what's that wrong? He said, the order of tomatoes. <laughs> so, even if it's I'm wrong, boys, <laughs> don't say with your mouth, I'm wrong. <laughs> Those of you outside the country, fire from your dictionary, what's happening? <laughs> look, at what, look at what happened. <laughs> God, God told them they will possess the land. They will possess what? But look at what they said. But the men that went up with him said, We be not able to go against the people, for they are stronger than. The moment they opened their mouth, they will be not able. That was the end of their getting to the promised land. So, of course, it's just one word. One word? Negative word. <sighs> this country is tough. Oh. And everything become tough. You shall have whatsoever. Good or bad. I shall a scripture that will help you. In James chapter 3, 4 to 6, I'll share it to this service also to help you. Now, it said, Behold, also the sheep, which though they be so great and are driven of fierce winds, yet are they turned about with a very small aim. Do you hear that? 
if you see the sheep, you find that the captain uses one small steering light thing. Is that true? And one small steering light thing that has, that's what you see the captain will turn. Now God is saying, look at it. Whithersoever the governor, listen, even so the tongue is a little member, and both said greatly, behold, I great a matter, a little fire kindled, and the tongue is a fire. This is what God is saying. God is saying, just like the ship, that massive object on the sea, you see wave carrying it. Yet the captain will turn that steady like thing to the direction he wants. True? Even if the wave is contrary, he will keep turning the ship. He will turn it, and the ship will take in the position that he wants. Is that true, sir? God said, even if your life is going contrary, things are going contrary, use this small object and turn your life to the direction you want. Things are hard in the country. Things are not working. You turn, it is well. It's working, getting better. Then your life will be going like that. You'll be going like that. Irrespective of the wind, that is what God is saying. Don't say it in line with the wind. Say it in line with what you want. Everything about your life is controlled from here. Just look at your life and say it is well with me. It will be well with you. So I hear. I said something, prosperity is from your mouth, health is from your mouth, deliverance is from your mouth, success is from your mouth. If you manage, it's from where? Mouth. He that find it, find it, and obtain it from. Now you have to say it, even though that you'll find. You have to say it. A man, wherever you are, find me, I'm a good thing. And the man who finds me, obtain favor. The man will just find you and say, I said, you know, the day I gave you, I got a job. Because you have spoken it. You have what? He said, now nah, mind, find me, and as you find me, get a job as favor. You speak it. He said, the man that looks for me must move to the next level. And then as he proposed to you, just open it. Just say, ah, yeah, this, I spoke to this young lady. There's no way he can go. At that time, you know that you have spoken it to his destiny. So everything about you, he said, the man who finds me, you see God's glory upon my life. Speak it. Don't look at the mirror. And, uh, anything you say to the, in the mirror, is not how you appears. The mirror is the word of God. So I hear. Because of time. Let me show you something in Matthew 18, 18, and then we go ahead. Matthew 18, 18. Matthew 18, 18. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be losing. The uh, Amplified says, whatsoever you forbid. Truly I tell you, whatever you forbid and declare. And what? And declare means to say. Whatever you forbid and declare to be improper and unlawful on earth must be what is already forbidden in heaven. And whatever you permit and declare proper and lawful on earth must be already permitted in heaven. So it is what I say here that heavens will confirm. Listen. <laughs> I came up one day and I said, before this week is over, you will hear good news. And good news came that week. I have prayed. Now I have to declare it. It is not just, the reason why many times we pray and nothing happens because we stop in the prayer level. Jesus prayed, but he declared. After your prayer, you have to say it. You are a giver. Why are you keeping quiet? After giving you keep quiet. Do you know what's our seeds? What's our what? If Jesus speaking the parable of the sower in Luke 8, 11, he said, the seed, the word, the seed is the word of God. He said, the seed is the word of God. So every word is what? It's a seed. Now, and he says, seed time and harvest. Genesis 8, 22. So when I speak anything, I have sown what? Seed. So that seed must produce harvest. What most things happen in your life today is what you said yesterday. So you are sowing seeds unknowingly. That's why you must be careful what you say. Say only good words. Say only what? Say only good, positive words. Never say negative words. Never, no matter what you're passing through, never say negative things. Never. No matter what you're passing through, never say negative words. 
Train yourself to say the positive. Otherwise, God would have said, look at darkness. Look at darkness. Look at darkness. Look at darkness. God never said it. He kept saying, let there be. That your children, that now don't have money, does not mean, what's a powerful? My mother kept saying negative words. I learned from her. Smart I say, it's better let her die. 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 I said, Ma, why do you talk like this? And when death came, I was in the hospital when my mother gave up. He said, Pastor, I don't want to die. But she has already said she wants to die. Uh, when death came face to face, I was talking to my mother. My mother talked to her, she, she passed on. She didn't, get, she was talking, talking. She, they did a surgery on her, then she passed on. She was diabetic. She was talking to me. She said, Pastor, Pastor, I don't want to die now. I don't want to die now. But she had been saying she wants to die since. So when death came, she didn't want to die. It was late. She, my, father, my mother died from her mouth. She was only 67 when she died. So she would have been alive till now. Are you going to say now? And she have, you can imagine if my mother was alive. She would be, she would be suspended in the air. <laughs> <laughs> she would walk on the ground. She would be walking inside. She would be walking in the air. <laughs> but she was talking with her man. Stop talking. Don't allow present challenges to destroy your destiny with wrong words. Don't take a permanent decision. Because of temporary problems. Stop speaking wrong words because of temporary challenges. Stop saying the wrong things because of what you're passing through. Don't allow troubles you're going through now make you forget the promises of God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The only temporary, the only what? Temporary. Speak what you want to happen tomorrow. Well, let me tell you something. Everyone has what it takes to create a miracle as long as you're able to do it. I'm going to tell you a simple scriptural principle on how to create your miracle through your mouth. How to create your miracle through your mouth. How to create your miracle through your mouth. How do I create my miracle through my mouth? Number one, I'm going to tell you principles that produce your desire. Number one, Locate the right word. You might want to do what? Locate the right word. The first step in creating your miracle is to first and foremost identify a word in the scriptures that guarantees your desire. Search the scriptures for one of his that supports your situation. You want to prosper. Look for a word that supports prosperity. You want deliverance. Look for a word that supports your deliverance. Are you going to say now? In Hosea chapter 14 verse 2, look at what God says here. He said, take with you words and turn to the Lord. The A path. Take with you what? And turn to the Lord. So what you do, go and locate the right scriptures and then turn it back to him. So here. After you have located the right word, many can locate the word, but the word is not rooted in their heart. Number two, believe the word you have located in your heart. Make sure the word is rooted in your heart. God's word is infallible. It cannot fail. So when you locate the right word, make sure the word you have located has a root where? In your heart, because... If you are saying something out of your mouth and it's not rooted in your heart, doubt will come in. What will come in? So make sure the word you have located has its root where? In your heart. In Mark 11 to 3, he said, If thou shalt not doubt in your heart, you shall have whatsoever you say. So doubt can come in. Because sometimes you will say some things and if it's not rooted, Sarah will ask you, This thing you have said, are you sure? But when it's rooted on the inside, doubt dies. Last story, I will never forget the last crusade we had, 2000 and, is it 12? When did we have the last crusade in the Greater? 2012? The last one outside, Night of Glory. 2012? The last 2011 or 2012? 2011. 
Now, 2011 was the last one. 2011, we were to have the all night. You know, it used to be all night. Night of glory. And just at the verge of the program, rain came heavily. Wow! 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 I was in the hotel. And I turned and I said, you devil. Quiet! Get out of Port Harcourt. And after I said that, and I said, now, rain, stop. Then he came to me, opened the curtain. Are you not seeing the rain? <laughs> I will never forget. I dipped in my heart. I said, he said, if I don't doubt in my heart. So he said, look at the weather. I said, you will stop. He came again and said, look at the weather. I said, you will stop. In 20 minutes, I will never forget, rain stopped. He wanted me to doubt my prayers. He wanted me to doubt my declaration. The moment you doubt, you stop the flow of the miraculous. But the moment your heart refused to doubt, it may just shake. You know, he said to Jesus three times. I think three times was just one minute. He came to him, wanted him to doubt. This was video doubt. He came second to doubt. I said, I do He will leave you the moment you don't, you don't doubt. He will come and say, you said you will not be poor. Are you sure? Do you have contract now to see that you are rich? He said, shut up, Satan. God can't lie. He will come again. But that contract last time, don't you say that the review approved it? He says, Satan, quiet. The word can't fail. He will come again. But now, what makes you believe? How much is in your account? He says, Satan, quiet. After that moment, he will leave and money will just flow. If you don't doubt in your heart. So when you declare, let your heart also agree with the word of God. Believe whatever you have declared with your mouth. Because God is not a man that he should lie. <laughs> no matter what is happening, God is not a man that he should lie. Numbers 23 verse 19. He said, the word is truth. The word is what? John 17, 17. And blessed is she that believe it, there shall be a performance. So believe. Luke chapter 1, verse 45. Believe that this thing you have said, God will perform it. Say here. It is the word of God you believe that will produce. You know why? Any gospel you don't mix with faith will not produce. Hebrews 4, 2. He said, for unto us what the gospel preached as well as unto them, but the word preached not properly them because it was not mixed with faith. God will only, if that can believe all things are what? Possible to him. Hebrews 4 2. That the former one, Hebrews 4 2. And then Mark 9 23. Very, very, I saw to you that shall say this man, and shall not doubt in your heart. Mark 11 23 and 24. Therefore, I saw unto you, whatsoever things say this, and when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. Have confidence in God and his word that he cannot lie. So I hear. Don't doubt. Don't what? Don't doubt. Never doubt. Satan will come to challenge you. He will come. He say, well, are you sure this thing will happen? What, what makes you believe it will happen? How are you sure that this debt will be wiped off? What is the sign to show? Believe you me. When I said multiple marriages, there was no sign. It was December we had the multiple marriages. Now, in the natural, by October, someone said, but I, I said this thing will it work. November, it didn't work. December was the last wedding. He said, are you sure December? After December, year has ended now. <laughs> but to tell you, because I refuse to doubt, December, the people were too many, so they had to do multiple marriages to fulfill the word. I went to somebody, I've shared that testimony over and over, and I went to him 31st of December. I will never forget. Alan took, he was, he was in trouble, no money, no nothing, everything was down. It was, it was at the crossroad. He was down. When I mean down, down. This was a man who used 280 S class among the first three people to have it in this town. He was living in GRA, moved to the suburb, to the ghetto, and things were tough. And I was listening to him by two with, with Pastor Achenike in his house. And I said, uh, before this year is over, God will turn your story around by 2 p.m. on 31st. In fact, the man said, does this man know that the year is about to end? 
Oh, oh, this pastor understand. It was not a member then, it's not a full member. He said, Oh, this pastor understand that this is a defense. I didn't doubt what I said. I said, before this year comes an end, God will tell your story. He said, okay. Oh. <laughs> now to cut the long story short, two hours after we left, the governor then, they called him. Said, so we want an architect. The man is an architect. We want an architect to come and do an immediate job now. We thought of somebody to do this job and it's an emergency. We needed everyone that's going to church holidays. They thought of him. They called him. <laughs> they carried cash and gave him. There is a pastor. Is that how this thing works? So every year I become, you know. <laughs> He's a very funny brother. Very funny brother. But don't doubt. Don't what? Don't doubt. The miracle is in your mouth. Your miracle is where? Your mouth. May your mouth begin to say good things. Yeah. Number three, start declaring the word boldly. Now that it's rooted in your heart, start declaring the word boldly. You release your faith in action by declaring the word of God you have believed in your heart. So form the word where? Believe the word in your heart. Form it with your tongue. Release it to your mouth. You get the results. Believe the word in your heart. Form it with your tongue. Release it through your mouth. Then you get the results. In 2 Corinthians 4.13, see what the Bible says. We having the same spirit of faith according as it is written. I believed. Yes, you believed. And therefore, have I what? We also believe and therefore speak. So if you say you believe and you don't speak, it's not complete. Anything you believe. Many said, Yes, I believe. Be it unto me. She now spoke according to your word. She spoke. She activated God's power. If Mary never said, Be it unto me, the miracle wouldn't have happened. Listen, everywhere God did a miracle, He needs your cooperation of declaration. Oh, God will never confirm His word when you don't declare. God said, The Holy Ghost shall come upon you, have a son. She said, how? He said, now, the Holy Ghost shall overshadow you. He said, now, be it unto me according to your word. She declared it, then she committed God's integrity to make it happen. So God has said to you something in this word, now declare to him, he is committed to making it happen. Are you hearing what God is saying? Let me tell you this. Speak only words that are in agreement with God's word. Speak only words that are in agreement with God's word. Speak only words that are in agreement with God's word. Anything not in agreement with God's word, don't speak it. Let me show you from scriptures in John chapter 12, 49, 50. Look at what the Bible says. Look at what the Bible says so you can see that scripture from today. Anything you are saying, ask yourself, this is in agreement with the word of God. For I have not spoken of myself, but the Father who sent me, he gave me a commandment what I should say. What is the commandment? The word of God. And what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. That's the word. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. I am not going to speak anything outside what he says. Never say anything that God has not said. Let the poor say. Then why are you saying you are poor? Did God say you are poor? Why do you say poor me? Let the weak say, then why do you say I'm so weak? <laughs> As for thing three, long time they have abode there speaking boldly in the Lord, which gave a testimony unto the word of his grace and granted signs and wonder to be done. They were boldly speaking. They were boldly what? Be consistent in your declarations. 
Always say what you want, even in the face of prevailing circumstances. Why we look not the things we are seen, but the things we are not seen? For the things we are seen are what? Temporary. They are subject to change. But the things we are not seen are eternal. No matter what is happening, the subject to change. So don't allow the circumstances make you to speak wrongly. Amen? Let me tell examples of those who created their destinies through their mouth. Do you want to know them? The woman with the issue of blood. For she said within herself, if I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. She created a desire through her mouth. Matthew 9 21. And that person who changed his destiny through his mouth, David. 1 Samuel 17 46. This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand. He was talking about Goliath. And I will smite thee and take thy head from thee. And I will give thee, give the carcass of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in his. He finished Goliath from somewhere. From out. Goliath was first defeated from where? Before he physically defeated him. Jesus Christ, our Lord, said, He kept saying, I will rise on the top day. And was he able? Yes. The grave has no power over me. Destroy the temple and build the temple. And we all know that what he declared came to pass. Fought David the Biomian. I have been saying, even when there was nothing to show for it, he said, crowd will come to this church. This shall be a mega church. A prosperous church. Oh, are we seeing it today? As you declare God's word today, your life and destiny will turn for better. Yeah. Rise to your feet in Jesus' name. Shout a believing amen. Yeah. Shout a loud amen. Yeah. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, keep saying it. Keep saying it. And you will say it. I give you the next three minutes, you will say something. Say what you want to happen in your life. Don't say what is happening. Say what is leading. Look at your life. For the next three minutes, give your life shape. Give your life what? Not prayer. This is not prayer. This is not what? You are not praying. Don't say, oh, Father. No, you say something. This is not prayer. You don't say, Father, in the name of Jesus. No, no. In the name of Jesus, I know my life will be better. The loans I'm owing, it has ended. They shall be wiped off before October. I know I'm stepping to a new level of prosperity. My children shall be great. Because he said the seed of the righteous shall be mighty. None of my children will be average. I'm carrying my twins from now. My wife this month must take it. I know because I'm a child of God who is serving God. I decree I'm found by a good man. And the man who found me, God, I know he will enjoy favor the more he finds me. And I know you are prepared for me. This year will not pass me three months from now. Wherever he is, he will locate me. And every time I get up, I say, don't worry yourself. A good man is going to look for me. Good man. Good. Are you ready? Yes, to speak to your life? Now give your life direction for the next three minutes in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Open your mouth and speak. Declare it. Declare it. Give your mouth. Life, direction through your words. I know my life will get better. I know my life will get better. Declare it, declare it, declare it. Open your mouth and say it as you want it. With faith, declare. Declare it in faith. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. Say it. Say it with faith. The way you want it. Now begin to thank him because you believe he has answered. Tell him thank you because I know you've answered me. Thank you, Father. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. What you have said, now listen, 
Hannah said it, and Samuel said, be it unto you. Did God answer? Yes. And this, Eli, sorry, Eli confirmed it. Eli is an Old Testament priest. I'm a New Testament priest. What you have said, God answer you now. Yes. Everything you are saying, confirm the words of a servant and the counsel of his message. The things you have declared your mouth, not what will be prolonged in the name of Jesus. Be it unto you according to what you have declared in the name of Jesus. All shall come to pass immediately. In Jesus' name. 